Hey, Ursula here. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the squirrel's garden. We're going to start with where I actually planted things. I have a fence here, and all along this fence, every couple feet, I planted honey nuts. All right, there's only one that survived. We also have mice, so it's hard to say. So now we're going to take a look at what the squirrels planted, and this is what we got here. We have rose bushes along the garage, and they decided that right about here, there should be a squash or a pumpkin. We don't know what yet. It might be a butternut. It might actually be a uh, reverted hybrid that has gone back to a previous state. It might actually be from bird seed. It's, it's really hard to say. Then right next to it here is one twice as big and it's going to take over my tomato patch if I don't um, help it along, shall we say. You can see it's all male flowers so far. It hasn't grown big enough to really put out a female. Unless you see something I don't. But yeah, that is right in the middle of my garden path. This was supposed to be watermelons here. And then we ran out of soil, so I started making soil and putting a little mini compost heap here. Um, this back here was just too trodden on by a deer and I just and it's also in the shade so I decided not to plant in this bed but I this one does get sun and although it needs some weeding there are three watermelons in there um, they got planted late so we don't know if they're gonna actually uh, do anything but the squirrels oh my goodness now let's take a walk around the yard and look at what else is going on. This is my devastated cabbage patch. Either a deer walked in here and knocked off half of this, or the brassica beetles that are rampant this year uh, just destroyed too much of the stem. It's hard to say. I have been doing slug control, so it wasn't them this year. We had drought followed by a lot of water. So, and then the carrots in here, the deer have chopped off to exactly six inches high. They'll survive. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be putting up more fabric to prevent anything from coming in there. This is the other cabbage patch, and so far it's doing better. I think that's just cabbage moth damage here. Um, they need another spray. But right at the base of the cabbage patch. See there's one right over there. The squirrels planted another pumpkin cucurbit, whatever you want to call it. This is my raspberry patch. And again, as we walk down, oh hello little friend. We have one of our amazing little orange and brown butterflies. Do you like it here? But, yeah, right in the middle of my path is another one. They left me a stepping stone, so at least I can get through. We'll see how long that lasts. Okay. I have potatoes here. In front of the potatoes, we have one. We have one here. We have one here. And this one has a different leaf structure. I don't know if you can tell, both of these do. It's more scalloped. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Um, this one is at the head of my bean patch and I'm hoping that by its location, it'll prevent whatever's been eating my beans from going after them. I suspect many things, but I keep chasing morning doves out of here. Don't ask me why a morning dove would want to eat bean leaves, but 
it's possible. Anything's possible. Um, and that's the lettuce patch going to seed there. Not the prettiest site, but I should be able to harvest a good bit of those heads, putting them upside down in a paper bag uh, to save seed for next year. So that is my goal. I think the ones that are in full flower right now are going to take another week or so. But a lot of them are done, and so I should be able to collect those and weed that out. Um, so far, the cabbage beetles, is that nice? They haven't done too much damage on the horseradish. In years past, they've absolutely eaten this to the ground. Oh my goodness, look at this one here. Oh, that might just be breakfast. Look at that big baby. Wow. So I guess I'll be picking some raspberries today. And um, that is, oh, there's one more. There's probably several more. Always in a path. I think there's one, that's the other horseradish that is starting to get eaten. But I think hiding in that midst, there's another um, squash plant. So that is the squirrel's garden. I suppose we could count them. One, two, three, four, five. We had six and seven back there. Eight is the one in front of the raspberries. So eight plants that will probably yield up to 60 pounds of something. Um, possibly even 90 pounds. Nobody wants to eat that much squash. But, um, you know, if it is an edible squash, we, uh, we'll be up for giving some away. <laughs> anyway, take care, everybody. Happy gardening. I'll leave you with this. That's something else the squirrels planted.